Hey guys, I did a video a while back um, showing my Arno Bernard fixed blade, and in the video I had text saying that I was sending the knife out to get it engraved, and I did that, and it's back. Here it is. I'm gonna open it up and show it to you. No, I'm not going to lie. I opened this earlier, so I couldn't wait. <laughs> but, uh, I'm just doing the unboxing for the video. So I know I like checking out people's shit when they open it. I figured you just want to see it. And that's what I got done. I got the bolster engraved. I'm gonna show it to you in a better light over here. Let's see. There it is. That's a Russ Zimmer engraving. I just love it. I love all the blackout. It's just cool. And this is on an Arno Bernard fixed blade with like blackish blue green mammoth ivory scales. About a five and a half inch blade, somewhere around there. I just love engraving, I think it's badass. Um, traditionally, like old school traditional, it's done with a hammer and a chisel. If you check out videos, a big ass chisel and a hammer, they do those fine little cuts. If you look closely, there's a little look like right in here, there's these fine, fine little cuts. Let's see. I can just barely see them. I don't know if you guys will notice them. Alright. Little minuscule microscopic cuts right there on this leaf. All the leaves, you see these little. There's a tool now, it's electric. It's still a little palm chisel. That's what most engravers use nowadays, though. Which is still cool, it's still hand engraving. As long as you're not having the guy use a rotary tool. Like a little pen that spins. I was told by a expert engraver that that would devalue your knife. So don't go that route. It's very cheap too, so it's tempting, but it's not going to look right. And it, a pro can tell the difference. Even you can tell the difference if you look, and your knife will be devalued. So don't go. Don't go to super cheap route. Alright, I just wanted to show you guys that. It's Arno Bernard. Knife. Ross Zimmer. Engraving. Mammoth Ivory. Right, thanks for watching.